Hi everybody, I'm Jen with OpenSource.com. I have a brand new top five for you the week of March 18th. At number five, how to configure Raspberry Pi as a microcontroller. Seth Kenlon, one of our resident music maker with open source gurus, shares tips for getting the Raspberry Pi to act more like an embedded microcontroller than a mini PC. At number four, simple LED control with the Raspberry Pi. Anderson Silva gives us a tutorial on how to use your Raspberry Pi's GPIO pins with the Pi traffic light. His collection of Raspberry Pi projects on opensource.com is growing. At number three, Raspberry Pi project to regulate room temperature and sleep better. Jeff Geerling is a father concerned with his kids' room temperature and that it might be too cold and affecting their sleep. To remedy the situation, he implemented a Raspberry Pi solution. Learn more about this project and how you can set it up at your house. At number two, turn your Raspberry Pi into an automatic backup server. Seth Kenlon is back with a tutorial that teaches us how to put our old Raspberry Pi to use as an automatic backup server using RDIF backup. And finally, at number one, could you guess it, another Raspberry Pi article. Firewall your home network with a Raspberry Pi. David Both rounds up the top five, rounds out the top five of our Raspberry Pi Week collection with an article on how he replaced his dedicated network firewall computer with a Raspberry Pi 2. And we also have an honorable mention this week because we couldn't just publish or bring you all Raspberry Pi articles. We had to also talk about one more article that did really well with readers this week, and it was 15 podcasts for FOSS fans. Jason Mann Gumpster, resident blender and open design expert here at opensource.com, shares 15 of his favorite podcasts related to open topics, including open source software. All right, that's it for the week. Thanks so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time.